This is the DSR405 satellite box. It uses MC6833 CPU, and the protocol to talk to this also uses the BDM. And this is the BDM port. Uh, on the lower left side, it's pin 1. So if we were using the Unlink NT, the side, this side is pin 1, and we can connect like so. And then we connect to the USB. Power on the box. And we can hit detect. So the default clock for the device is 3 meg and 6 meg will fail on the programming. So we stick with the 3 meg and we have read before so we can use this to verify and it's actually doing the read. And the clock speed of 3 meg will give you about 214 kilobytes per second read. This is okay. Now let's erase it. Let's verify, it should fail. So let's program it. This is Intel chip, even though we use fast programming and the speed is not very fast, about 50 kilobytes per second. Yeah, 49, So take 41 seconds to program and let's verify it. So compare OK. So using BDMNT, we can program this device at the clock speed of 3 MHz. Now let's unplug the connection. And We are going to use Unink NT to program it. The connection here uh, would be ground first. Let's connect ground at pin three and five. Reset pin is blue, go to pin seven. Purple as the BER goes to pin 2 and the green is clock go to pin 4 gray is the freeze go to pin 6 and the DSI goes to pin that's orange uh, that's brown goes to pin 8 and then pin 10 is DSO and let's connect the USB. Power on. So we can also see it's detected. Let's verify the data. The clock speed when using Unit KMT can go to 4.5 MHz and the read speed is about 300 kilobytes per second. So it's about you know six seconds to read. The other one will be maybe nine seconds. So let's erase it.
and verify fail because it's erased. So now let's program it. The writing speed is about the same, maybe one kilobyte faster than the uh, BDMNT. Okay, um, one second faster than the BDMNT, and let's verify it. So compare past. Uh, so in this video, we can show the Unink NT can replace the BDMNT to program this DSR 405 satellite box, which use the BDM protocol.